Hey y'all, this is Mike with Raider Dog Ranch. Today we're following up on part two of the water well installation out of the ranch. You'll recall the first one, if you haven't seen that episode, the link is in the description. We talked about just the drilling of the well, and here you can see where the top of that comes to the surface. And you notice that there's two parts here, sort of the inner part of the actual well, that's where the the pump is down in the bottom of that, and then this outer casing that helps to protect it from caving in on itself, I think. Definitely not a well expert. I've tried to understand a little bit about it as we've gone through this process. Up here are the electronics to help run the pump, a little bit of um, safety circuitry there. And this plumbing runs over under the ground to a reservoir here. This is about a 35 gallon reservoir. This was included, but you might want to consider a larger holding tank to go along with this if you have a large family. That will reduce the load on your pump, which extends the life of the pump. And so the final step is getting power run. You can see the yellow wire there. Power is completed, but we're going to go backwards and show how that was done. There are two components of power to this site. I need to run from that power pole down here to this flag for the RV power. But the RV is down at the bottom of our property, the lower elevation. So we're going to use this rock saw here. We're going to start cutting this trench. This should be the easier one. And then we're going to cut a longer trench going up the hill to the well that we were just looking at. This is a 24 inch rock saw. In my area, you need a rock saw to cut trenches because of the rocks. Not just rocks, but layers of limestone. If you've never run one of these before or rented one, uh, they're really easy to drive. Easier, I would say, than a skid steer, so don't be intimidated. It's a big, scary looking machine, but uh, it's really easy to drive. You have the gas pedal here. Uh, this is what drives you forward. I shouldn't say gas pedal, it's the forward back uh, lever. So forward, push on your toe, reverse, push on your heel, much like a lawn tractor normally is. Um, it has a control knob here for the front shovel. Um, you can also tilt that. Uh, the guy told me he don't know what that's for, so I don't know what that's for. And then the green one is what lifts and lowers uh, your big wheel. And then these controls uh, control the speed. This here is supposed to control the speed of the machine itself, it tells you there the forward and reverse of the tractor. So you can kind of set it on cruise control and let it go. This particular model, that's disabled. So you could not do that. You had to drive it with the foot. Then this one is controlling the speed of the saw itself. So it's telling you for, uh, reverse and forward and how fast. So for us, you just turn it up to full speed. And the only other thing to think about is, notice these front counterweights. It's very heavy. It's very back heavy, so it needs to be balanced. And then this is your RPM control. So when you first start this machine, it's about 900 RPMs and you bump it up. In our case, you bump it up to about 2,400 RPMs uh, and that's your, your running rate, running RPM. Done. That took less than an hour. All the way to the pole. Bad news. This saw, they warned me about this. This saw does not clear the trench. I guess trenchers might do a little better job, but there's probably a couple inches of loose dirt that falls back in that you gotta clear. I've gone that far and I'm exhausted. This is the longer trench that we had to run from the power pole all the way up to the well. We estimated about 300 to 350 feet. Most of it is dirt, but there is some rock that I'm gonna show you and that's where the rock saw really came in handy. Here's a good example of what the rock saw can do. You can see those rocks. And then there's a better example. I'm having to hurry. The phone doesn't like the heat out here.
No. Some of that is pure rock down there. And you would not be able to get through that with a trencher. You have to use the rock saw. And that's what it's like trying to dig in Central Texas. Here's where the power terminates. Obviously, we don't have any buildings up here right now, so... We were running kind of off schedule because we really needed to get power to the well, but we weren't ready to finance a building. We don't have the money for the building, so here's where the power stood up, but it comes from that pole, if you can see it, right down there. So that's about 350 feet. What we learned was we needed 350 MCM power cable is not cheap could have gone aerial but really didn't want another pole up here near the house so this would be the view from a house pretty nice view central texas has its own beauty i'll just say it that way this is mid-august so it is really really dry you can tell almost deserty out here so things are coming along here at Raider Dog Ranch. We will soon have power to our RV, which is nice. We'll be able to come out and not have to bring a generator. And we'll have water. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and comment down below on what you liked, didn't like, or what would you like to see next. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you next time.